Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how to make this super easy DIY satin kimono duster. Let's get started. I fold it in half and I'm going to use a old an old men's dress shirt. One of my husband's shirts and I'm going to cut around the edges using a full inch seam allowance so that it will be a little bit larger on me and have enough room to add layers. So I'm pinning up the sides. This way when I go to fold the fabric in half, it won't slip around. Satin fabric is very slippery so the more pins the better. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut across the shoulders and around the neckline. I'm just folding down the collar of this shirt to cut the neckline. There isn't very much seam allowance to cut into, but there is a dip. Instead of going around it, I dip down into the neckline. And then I'm placing my finger in the middle point so that I'll know where to fold the fabric. And I'm folding it in half. duster cut out I am going to unfold it and remove the pins it's only pinned at the one side because that's the side that I used to fold over and I'm going to remove the top layer the layer that's still on the table this will be the front side of the duster so I'm going to fold this piece in half Cut it on the V so that it'll open up at the top, kind of like a cardigan. So I'm placing a pin at the shoulder so that it doesn't move around. And I'm coming down nine inches and I am going to cut out a triangular shape from that nine inch point all the way up to the shoulder. And then I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to split this piece in half. So now I have my front two pieces cut out. And I'm going to take the back piece and I'm going to lay it on top of that and I'm going to pin it together down the sides and across the shoulders and then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew down those sides and across those shoulders. down the sides for the satin fabric I am going to use a straight stitch
now that it's all sewn up, we are ready to work on those short sleeves. For the sleeves, I am using the sleeve portion of that dress shirt and I'm cutting around at the wrist and down the sides. I'm making it more baggy than the actual sleeve is. I'm going to put a snip right at the underarm area where the, the sleeve meets the shirt and at the top where the shoulder seam meets the shirt. And I'm going to cut around from the bottom. It's on the curve to make it meet up with each other. And then for the second sleeve, I just use that first sleeve that I cut out as a pattern piece and I'm going to cut around it. And now I have two sleeves. I'm going to take those to the machine and sew down the sides. Now that that's done, I am going to attach the sleeves to the duster. I'm going to take the sleeve, it's already inside out turn it right side out and I'm going to tuck it inside of the sleeve opening on the duster. So the duster is inside out, the sleeve is right side out. Tuck it into the arm opening matching the seam of the sleeve to the seam of the, the side seam of the duster. Get those seams matched up and place a pin to keep it together and for the top part of the sleeve we're going to match that up to the shoulder seam of the duster the top part of the sleeve you'll know because that's where the curve starts place a pin and then match up all of that fabric inside of the arm opening and place pins and take it to the machine and sew around that hole. You're going to do the same thing for the other sleeve and that will have both sleeves attached to the duster. Now that the sleeves are attached, it's time to hem it. We're going to hem the sleeves first. We're going to fold up half an inch, tuck in the fabric inside, and then fold another half inch. So it's just a rolled hem. You fold it twice. I've done this demonstration on all of my other videos. And we're going to sew around the edge as close to the edge as possible. Same thing for the side. We're going to roll it over half an inch and then roll it again half an inch and sew down as close to the edge as possible. It doesn't have to be a stretch stitch because this is not stretch fabric and we're going to go all the way up and around, around the neck hole down to the bottom. And for the very bottom hem, we're going to fold it up half an inch and then fold it again another half inch. Sew straight across from one side to the other. And now you're done. That was a super simple DIY satin kimono. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.